Hey there, viewers. How's your diet been lately? Full of hamburgers? How about steaks? Any veal? Red meat is among the most popular foods in the world. But did you know that it can be really unhealthy? I mean, sure, it's got some important nutrients, but red meat is also associated with an increased risk of cancer. I think it's about time you cut back. Let's talk about what happens to your body when you stop eating red meat. Do you lose weight? Will your skin look better? What happens with your cholesterol? Will you get an energy boost? We're talking all that and more. Number 1. Younger Looking Skin Who's that baby face walking around? After cutting red meat, you'll notice that you have younger looking skin. You see, a diet heavy on red meat slows down collagen production. Collagen is a protein that protects your tissues. Along with strengthening your bones, you need collagen for healthy skin. The more collagen in your system, the better structure your skin has. Red meat contains a lot of saturated fats and cholesterol. Eating a steady diet of pork, beef, and other meats will cause inflammation. If there's too much, your skin isn't going to produce enough collagen. This leads to your skin looking older. If you're cutting red meat, you're giving your skin a break. By replacing red meat with more veggies and fruit, you're getting a lot more vitamins and minerals. This will give your skin some much needed refreshment. The vitamins will attack free radicals and stop your skin from degenerating. What's your favorite type of red meat? Is it unhealthy for you? Do you eat it all year round? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, weight loss. Let me put it simply, if you cut red meat, you're gonna drop some pounds. You see, red meat has lots of calories. For example, a 100 gram serving of prime rib is 400. And think about all the other things you're having along with that, especially the beers you're probably chugging. Even just a three ounce serving of beef can be 170 calories. Now, this might not seem like a whole lot, but if you're eating red meat multiple times a day, it's gonna add up. If you were to cut red meat out of your diet, you'd be doing your body a big favor. I'm not saying you have to go on a vegetarian diet, but it can help. I mean, think about the nutrients you'd be getting that weren't coming in before. One study found that people who did the vegetarian diet lost more weight than people who ate meat. If you're willing to go the extra mile, vegans lose more weight than vegetarians. This is done by cutting out other animal products like eggs and dairy. Is that a little too dramatic? Well, how about you focus on cutting out a little red meat each day? See the difference it makes on the scale next time. Number three, less nutrients. This is one of the downsides. When you cut red meat, you'll increase your volume of certain nutrients and decrease in others. I mean, sure, if you eat veggies as a replacement, you're going to get nutrients you missed out on, but red meats have their own nutrients. Take lean beef, for example. It's got a ton of iron and zinc. These are both needed for you to maintain your health. That's why small amounts of beef are actually recommended. You also have protein to think about. Did you know that beef is mainly composed of protein? A three ounce serving of lean beef will carry 26 grams. You need this protein to maintain your body and build muscle mass. You also have to consider vitamin B12. This vitamin is needed for blood flow as well as maintaining your brain and nervous system. Animals are the only good dietary source of B12. So think about the proper supplements before dropping red meat entirely. Number four, longer life expectancy. Cutting out red meat will reduce your risk of disease. Not just any disease, I'm talking about life-threatening sickness. Multiple studies have been done to show how too much red meat can hurt your chances of long life. One piece of research saw subjects eat 3.5 servings of red meat every week for eight years. In the end, it was responsible for a 10% higher risk of death over the next eight years. People who eat red meat tend to die at a younger age than those who cut it. Red meat can increase your risk of cancer, particularly colon cancer. Another study was done on people who ate a ton of red meat every day. Eating as much as 76 grams a day was associated with a 20% greater risk of colorectal cancer. People who ate less than 21 grams a day were much better off. If you're not down to cut out red meat right away, at least cook it at a lower temperature. Putting it on high can activate several different cancer-causing compounds. This spells bad news for people with a history of bowel cancer in their family. As for things like hot dogs and sausage, they contain nitrates. These chemicals are often used as additives in your food. Unfortunately, they may help cause cancer. Before we continue, are you looking to get in shape? Well, you need to cut out the snacking or at least find alternatives. Check out our recent video on 11 healthy snacks that can help you lose weight. Number five, less bloating. I mean, sure, a fat steak might be delicious, but don't you just hate the bloating you feel afterwards? By cutting red meat, you'll be giving your digestive system a much needed break. After eating a fatty, protein-filled meal, your stomach needs time to digest it, more time than for other foods. This is because the protein is harder to break down. The fat you have just eaten is what causes the bloating. This is also accompanied by indigestion, abdominal pain, and gas. 
If this is a regular problem, your best bet would be to stop eating red meat. Did you know that vegetarians see less bloating? Now you're going to feel some indigestion at first. This is because your body is getting used to the new diet you've replaced it with. You mainly have fiber to thank for this. Over time, your digestive system will feel a lot better. Healthier gut bacteria will get rid of the bloating. Number six, you feel less acidic. Red meat produces a ton of acid. This is why you might feel heartburn after a large steak meal. It's due to all the protein and phosphorus the meat holds. Both red and processed meats contain so much acid, your body will have a hard time digesting it all. Because there is so much pressure on your stomach, acid will be pushed into the esophagus. The acids work their way up the esophagus and into the chest area. This is where you get a burning sensation. Heartburn is both annoying and painful. Sensitivity to acid can make your life a lot more difficult. High acidity in your diet will interfere with things like your mental health and sleep schedule. By cutting red meat, you'll experience less acidity. Your body is able to process food quicker, leaving you less likely to feel heartburn. If this isn't a reason to lay off the red meat, I don't know what is. Well, maybe my next point. Number seven, energy boost. Are you too tired to function? This is your body's way of telling you to switch diets. Dropping red meat will have you feeling refreshed. I'm talking about the kind of energy boost you haven't had in years. All of the things I mentioned about healthy nutrients will contribute to this. You just have to be willing to replace red meat with healthier foods. Don't think for a second that you're light on options. There are so many nutrient-dense foods to choose from. I mean, if you're looking for some bulk, try some fatty fish like salmon or tuna. You'll get some amazing omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin B12. In the fruit and veggie department, you can choose things like bananas, sweet potatoes, apples, and avocados. With all that steak you're eating, you've probably missed out. You can also go for oatmeal, yogurt, and hummus. These are all foods that are easily available and you should consider replacing red meat. Your diet is like a puzzle. So many pieces have to come together if you want to get in shape. Have I sparked your interest? Well, here's a couple more videos you should watch. How about 10 foods to eat while on a diet? Or maybe learn how the military diet makes you lose 10 pounds in three days. Go ahead, click one. Better yet, watch both. Learn more about how you can stay healthy. Have you ever cut red meat? How did it feel? Let us know in the comments below.